Hey guys, it's Boontar checking in from uh, from out on the road. <clears throat> and this is the uh, this is the second week in a row that I've had a uh, I've had a trip that has been a colossal screw up for one reason or another. <clears throat> and I've been out probably about twice as long as I should have been on this trip. Uh, now yesterday, after I made my delivery. I was looking for a place to have to lay down and I was doing a search on Google Maps for a uh, possible smoke shop. So I just type in uh, tobacco <clears throat> and of course that brings up all kinds of, all kinds of, uh, you know, discount tobacco places and, and what have you, not necessarily the uh, tobacco shops that you or I would go to. <clears throat> so you have to kind of weed these places out a little bit. And I called one place and it was just called Smoke Shop. I called one place and they said no, they're just a discount place and they had some pipe tobacco but it's not at all what I was looking for. So he he told me, he said, well in town what you'd have is either the tender box uh, which, I mean, we've probably all been to a tinder box. They're pretty cookie cutter, whatever. Uh, they're not bad. It's just, you know, they're a dime a dozen. But he said, uh, if you go a little bit further up the road, there's this place, Bird's Eye View. So, uh, and he says they have a ton of pipes and stuff. And I think he said they have guns, too. So, <clears throat> It was a little bit out of route, so I, I, I chose not to go, but then the screw-up on my trip happened, and they ended up sending me like three hours the other direction, and uh, I happened to be having to come back this way, and I'm going right by, take a look at this, bird's eye view. So I'm about to go in and take a look to see what they have, and if they don't mind me recording, I'll, uh, I'll share it with you guys, so we'll see you in a little bit. Well, that was pretty much a bust. <laughs> the guy at the smoke shop yesterday, he's... Because I was asking, like, if they have pipe tobacco or whatever. And, uh, oh, well, we got a couple things, but uh, you probably have better luck at a tinderbox. And then he's he's like, yeah, go to this bird's eye view place. He's like, they got everything. They got a ton of pipes. They got more than you could ever... Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I'll go check it out. The damn head shop. Yeah, they got pipes, all right. Just not at all what I'm looking for. <laughs> the guy said they used to carry some stuff and had a full humidor and whatever, sold cigars. But I guess the uh, Michigan tobacco tax, uh, on top of what they were having to pay for shipping to get this stuff here and whatever, they were their prices were like another. Because I'm, I'm right across the border from Indiana, and their prices ended up being like 11% more than, uh, ooh, here, take a look, hope I don't get run over. <laughs> uh, anyway, so their prices are like another 11% more than what the retail is in Indiana, and they just couldn't compete, so, so now they are strictly a head shop with all kinds of, uh, of course, <clears throat> tobacco paraphernalia. Yeah, right. I don't know. I've never really tried smoking my tobacco out of glass. Have you guys? Do you uh, smoke your backy out of glass? I don't know. That's a bit of a disappointment, but what are you going to do? So I guess that's it for me. I'll uh, chat with you all later. Have a good one.